everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy new year. So I'm filming this today on the 1st of January 2020 um, and I thought what better way to start the year off than with one of my absolute favourite videos to film and that is a haul. So if you have been following me for a little while you'll know that recently we moved house, we relocated four hours up to Manchester, um, we moved house, we started to renovate the house, we are finally in the house but it is by no means finished whatsoever. So filming is a little bit difficult but I've managed to sort out this setup, so I'm in our bedroom here, um, so I've managed to sort this setup out so that we can film a haul, hopefully the light's okay and everything like that, but it is kind of like my first time filming in here, so I do apologise if it's not perfect. So I hope that everybody had a lovely Christmas, so for me, obviously as I said we just moved in and I sorted out my wardrobe, I put all my clothes in and then I did a massive clear out, like I think that is something you should 100% do sort of in the new year, end of the year, whatever it is, is do a big clear out of all the clothes that you're not going to wear again, that you'll never wear, whatever it is. Um, and I ended up getting, I think it was like six or seven big Ikea bags worth of clothes. Some I've given to charity shops, um, others that I'm going to send to a company called eBloggers, and that is a company where you can buy uh, my clothes. They are, you know, they're kind of like a Depop, but for bloggers. Um, so it's really, really easy to do that. So I will leave the link for that down below if you are interested. I also sent some off to some women's refuges, and I also sent them off some off to SmartWorks, which is a, um, it's like a charity that helps women get like into businesses or into jobs and they kind of supply them with um, smart clothes and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on. But because I did all of that clear out um, and I suddenly kind of went through a bit of a phase where I was like, I don't like any of my clothes, which is ridiculous because I've got so many clothes. Um, but you know when you kind of go through one of those phases and obviously that coincided with the sales being on. Um, so I took full advantage. So I have an ASOS box. I have a Zara box, I have a Matches fashion, is it Matches or did I get it from Farfetch? I don't know, we'll see when I open it, but like a designer kind of box and I also have another Zara box down there which I already opened because I just couldn't resist. So I think we should just get on with it really because I've been rambling for far too long. So I think I'm going to start with ASOS. Okay so I've had a little bit of a change of heart. I think what I'm going to do instead is just put these items on and then show you them as I'm wearing them because I think that's going to be easier and you're going to be able to see it better and stuff like that. So let's skip to all the try on clips. Okay so this is the first uh, piece that I got from ASOS. So it is a blazer and it's like an oversized fit, um, kind of like a granddad style I think it was called. So it's in this kind of like a Czech houndstooth brown and black fabric, literally something that your granddad or your like old uncle would probably wear. Um, so it is single breasted, it's got two buttons here, uh, pockets, and yeah, it comes down pretty long, like, sorry, excuse my gym leggings and slippers, um, but it's kind of like just above my knee, so it definitely is quite oversized. Now, I saw a girl on Instagram wearing a jacket like this, um, and she wore like a big black hoodie underneath and some Doc Martens, and I thought it looked really cool, but I just don't think this jacket is giving me that vibe. I think it just looks really weird size on me um, and it was really expensive as well and I just think it looks cheap. I think, I, I mean I know it obviously needs a steam but it's very thin material. I was expecting something a little bit thicker for um, how expensive it was so I'm pretty sure I'm going to send this back. I'm not overly mad on it. I don't know, it's, it is growing on me to be honest, like that always happens the more I wear stuff. I'm like, mm, I can see it um, but I mean, I don't know. I think like, let's do the buttons up, let's have a look. Okay, no, no, definitely not buttons done up, that's wrong. So this is the girl that I saw wearing this really cool outfit that I liked, but looking at her blazer, and it's just not the same, I mean, when it focuses, that's not the same, is it? So I think I'm going to send this one back. Okay, why is this haul going so badly? <laughs> what is this? I saw, again, an Instagram inspired purchase, um, someone wearing this on Instagram and it looked amazing and what, like, <laughs> okay, actually, that looks a bit better, maybe, I think maybe I was wearing it wrong, like that is not right, that on the other hand is quite cool, no, maybe, I'm not sure, I really want to get into wearing these. But, oh, sorry about the car outside. 
not sure why is nothing going well so far okay so i one million percent do not need any more knitwear however i spotted this this was actually in the sale but it is free people so it was still expensive i think so it was originally like a hundred and 130 pounds and then it was in the sale to 70 so it's, it's obviously still expensive but i saw this and i just thought i would absolutely live in this i'm always on the lookout for like big oversized jumpers that are really comfy i love the color of this one it's kind of like an oatmeal color um so it's got obviously this kind of big collar detail the big um cuffs and the bit down here but then it's a very very thin rib everywhere else i love the shape it's just so slouchy um yeah i mean to be honest i think i'm probably going to keep this i can kind of imagine me wearing this with um like some really really tight black skinny jeans or leather leggings and some big doc martin boots and then um a big kind of furry coat or something it's just quite a good basic i know it's expensive but i am kind of trying to spend a little bit more on my clothes so that they last longer and that they look good especially knitwear because I just find knitwear from like Zara, for example, just bobbles so much. Um, I do have a debobbler, but you know, it's not the same. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. I really, really like that. I've got this in a size small because it is um, quite oversized. Normally I would size up in my knitwear, um, but yeah, I really like that. I mean, I know it's not doing anything for my shape whatsoever, but it's just one of those really nice cozy ones. So definitely we'll be keeping this one. Okay. I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I was doing this order because what is this i mean <laughs> so i was kind of going for like a retro vibe here so i was going to tuck this into some mom jeans sorry i haven't styled all this by the way my um wardrobe room is still an absolute mess and there's boxes everywhere and i can't find half my clothes so that is why i'm living in gym leggings um but anyway yeah so it's like a polo shirt um but it actually feels like a school polo shirt as well which is very much putting me off it it's got tortoiseshell buttons and it's got like a cuff detail here with a button. Um, and yeah, like I said, I was kind of planning on tucking it into some mum jeans for like a bit of a like relaxed kind of casual vibe. But look at it. I mean, it's horrible. Oh God, I hope this all gets better. Okay, so next up from ASOS, I have some pieces from And Other Stories, but I bought them via ASOS. Um, just because I find ASOS a little bit easier than And Other Stories um, returns and stuff. So yeah, first up we have this, um, I'm going to say utility jacket because it has the big pockets, the big buttons, um, but it's kind of like this oatmeal cream jacket, really, really nice actually, I love the quality of this, um, it has tortoiseshell buttons, which is becoming a bit of a theme in this video, love the huge pocket and I love the collar, like I love that it's not a proper collar, so it kind of sits up, um, I don't know, I just think that's quite cool, quite like my hair tucked into it as well. Um, which I know really annoys some people, so sorry about that. Um, but I think it's really nice, you know, this was expensive. Um, I think this was around the £100 mark or maybe even a little bit more. So, you know, I have to really, really love it to keep it. Um, but I can imagine me wearing it all done up with like a beanie on, um, some black jeans, some Doc Martens. I can also imagine me wearing it open with like a white t-shirt and some jeans, like some mom jeans. Um... Yeah, you know, I do actually really like this. I think it looks really, really cool. I think it would look cool with the uh, sleeves rolled up as well. Let me try that. Um, oh, yeah, that looks really good. Really, really like that. Very happy with that one. So, yeah, I think I'll definitely keep this one. Also, I will link um, all of the items down below, obviously, as I always do. And I will also link all the sizes that I got. So, you'll know, because I think I did size up in this one because I did want it to be quite oversized. Um, do you know what? I think this would also look really, really cool with a big belt around the middle. Like, I don't know, kind of hard to imagine, but I think that would look quite cool with like some leather skinny jeans or something and some boots. So, yeah, really happy with that. This haul is getting a little bit better. Okay, so this is another And Other Stories piece. Um, and it is kind of similar to the last one, except from obviously this is a coat. Um, now, I tried this on in store probably a couple of months ago and I've been thinking about it kind of every now and then um and sort of thinking should I have bought it anyway when I saw it in ASOS I just thought you know what I'm going to give it another go and if I don't like it this time then that's it stop thinking about it so it's kind of this oatmeal color again but a bit darker this time maybe like a beige also please ignore my nails I know I need to get them done but I just really really liked the fact that you could see the detail um, and that runs literally all the way down the coat so I just thought that was a really, really nice feature. But now I have it on, 
I don't think I'm mad on it to be honest. Again, I don't think it's that good quality. Like, it's quite thin, like it's not lined. Um, and it was expensive, so for it not to be lined, I'm a bit like, that's a bit crap. Let me do this up and have a look. So I think I like it more with that done up, but I still don't think I like it enough. Um, mm, okay, again, it is growing on me. I think I, I do really like it with that done up like that. Um, I love the wide lapels as well. I think they're really cool. So I haven't got a coat this colour in my wardrobe and I'm just trying to work out like what I would style it with um, other than black. I think it kind of only really lends itself to black, which is making me wonder whether it's kind of worth the money. Um, I do like the big wide sleeves too. I have got another coat in my, well I've got another few coats actually. Um, I've got two from Zara and one from um, Farfetch. Or was it matches? I still can't remember where I've ordered from. But anyway, um, so I'm going to try all of them on first um, and then make a decision. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to keep it. Okay, so I am in full lumberjack vibes now. Um, but I absolutely love this. So it's from ASOS. Um, it is so cosy. It's like a, I don't know how well you can see that, kind of like a fleecy, fluffy material. And it's kind of like a grey, black with um, white checks on it obviously. I love this. I can just imagine wearing this with a black beanie, some black skinny jeans and big chunky boots. Um, and yeah, just looking really cool and kind of very chilled. I like pieces that don't like you try too hard, that you've kind of just chucked on and this is definitely one of them. I'm wondering if I should have sized up. I think I got this in a 12, but I'm wondering whether it would look better even bigger or whether it would be a bit too much. I don't know, maybe I'll keep this size actually. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really soft and cosy. It's really, really like thick as well. Like it's really well lined. So this will definitely keep me warm. Now I live up north. <laughs> um, slowly getting used to the change in weather up here and um, definitely will never be used to the amount of rain up here. But anyway, um, so yeah. I just think this is so cosy, really, really warm, just a really, really nice one. And I think I'll wear this like every winter. It's not going to go out of style. It's, you know, it's very classic. Um, and I think it would also look really, really nice layered. Like maybe this with a black coat on the top. Or maybe I might be a bit hot. I don't know. Um, but I just feel like quite excited about this piece. And I think when you feel excited about something, then you should keep it. Um, yeah, I just think it's quite a nice classic one. With like, imagine with a big chunky roll neck or a hoodie. Um... Yeah, and I also think I can wear this with like white underneath or like a big cream jumper would look cool. I think there's quite a lot of options with this one. So yeah, really happy with that. I'm definitely going to keep it. Oh my God, I literally just burst out laughing when I put this on. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so this is from Matches. So yeah, it's Matches, not far fetched, by the way. Um, and it's originally Ganny. Um, which I love Ganny as a brand, I think they're so cool. But basically, I feel like I may have got the wrong size in this. So I saw this on um, Smith Sisters' Instagram page. Um, she had just ordered it, but she ordered it from Netta Porter. When I went on Netta Porter, they didn't have any sizes left, so I found it on Matches. But I think this might be a size 12. I'm trying to remember now, and I think I basically needed like a size 4. Because look at it. Oh, it's such a shame because it's such a nice quality piece. Like, it's so thick. And obviously, this was more expensive. It was around 200 and... I want to say £250, so obviously expensive. But, like I said, I'm trying to invest better. Um, and I just thought this was something that was going to last me for years and years and years. So that is why I bought it. But, I mean... I'm sure if I was, like, really cool, I could make this work. But I'm not. So, I mean, I'm going to trip over this. Look how long it is. So unfortunately this is going to have to go back and I doubt I'm going to be able to get one in my size because they were all sold out, which is a real shame because it's really cool um, and I love the colour of it. Um, it's like a really nice deep khaki green. Again, tortoiseshell buttons. Um, love the big thick collar. It does look really expensive whereas the And Other Stories coat, which was maybe only like £50 cheaper than this, looks so much cheaper than this. So... Um, I mean, I was going to say maybe I could get it taken in, but I would literally need, like, so much fabric taken in. Look. <laughs> so, yeah, this one is a no. It's a shame, but not happening. So, the last thing that I got from Matches is this hat. So, it's Ganny. Um, so, it's the same brand as the coat. Um, this was in the sale. I think it was around... 
I think it was like 52 pounds or something, which I know is a lot for a hat. Um, but I just really, really liked it. I love the colour. I wear beanies so much. So let me try it on. I haven't actually tried it on yet. I don't know. Is this cool? Do we like? I think that's quite cool, actually. I really like the white um, tag there. I think that's really cool. Um, I like the colour. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to be my new beanie that I always wear. Obviously, I will remove this tag. Um, but I think that's really, really cool, actually. Okay, so we're on to Zara now, so hopefully this is a little bit more successful. Um, so the first thing is this navy coat. Now you're not going to be able to see it that well because um, it's so dark, but I will try and show you the colour properly in a second. Um, but yeah, this navy coat, I really like this. I love how simple it is. So it has like one button and that's it. Um, and I don't have a navy coat in my collection and I kind of wanted to wear like black and navy together, even though I know that used to be like a big no-no, but I think it's fine. Um, and my plan was to layer this with a blazer underneath. So I just thought that would look quite cool, kind of smart. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. I think this was originally £100 and then it was reduced to about 60 So I'm going to spin you around so you can see the colour now. Okay, this isn't a true reflection of the colour either. It is way darker than this. But my ring light is making it massive. Oh, you can see our bathroom there, which we are redoing. So yeah, sneak peek of that. <laughs> But yeah, love it, really, really cool. Definitely gonna keep this one. So yeah, I'm wearing this one in a size small. Right, so onto another coat. And this one is like a beige kind of herringbone um, maxi coat. So I'm wearing this in a size medium. It's got a much smaller collar this time. This keeps flicking up, it needs to stay down. Um, and it has, again, the tortoiseshell buttons. This is a running theme throughout this haul. Um, but yeah, I really like the fit of this. Um, and I do like the color as well. The only thing is it's so itchy and I have a jumper and leggings on it and I can like feel the itch through the leggings, which is just horrible. It's like full mohair and wool, I think. And I get really affected by those fabrics. I find them like so incredibly itchy. Um, and yeah, I just hate wearing them. So. I'm not overly sure about keeping it because I don't really want a coat that makes me feel itchy even when I have things underneath, which is a shame because I do like the style of it. Um, maybe I can get over the itchy factor. I don't know if I can though, because I'm literally fully covered up and I can still feel it. Maybe because my leggings aren't very thick. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? Do you think it's worth keeping or... Well, I maybe not wear it because every time I look at it, I'll be like, oh, it's itchy. What do we think? I think it is cool. I like how it's quite smart with the little, kind of reminds me of like a, um, kind of like a suit blazer. Um, you know, like a guy would wear, but like a long version. And obviously this herringbone thing is quite cool because I haven't really got anything like that. So yeah, I don't know. I can imagine this styled up with quite a few different outfits as well, like all black outfit, um, wearing it with creams and stuff, and whites. Um, I think it would look quite nice with blue denim as well. But I'm not sure. What do we think? I think it's kind of similar to the And Other Stories one, and that one didn't itch me, but this is like half the price. Actually, probably less than half. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. So I forgot that I had ordered this and I'm actually very pleasantly surprised when I realised I had. Um, obviously it needs a steam, I'm fully aware of that. Um, and once I've steamed it, I'm going to make sure it isn't like something that creases really badly because it's looking very creased. But either way, um, it is a trench coat from Zara and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I absolutely live in trench coats. Like they're my absolute favourite, but I only have camel ones. Um, I've got a vintage Burberry one, which I absolutely love but it's kind of like a dusky brown, have a camel one, and I saw this in the sale, and I just thought, I think I could wear this with so many things, so I love it with an all black outfit, with a black beanie, some big Doc Martens, but I would also wear this with some jeans, um, I'd also think it would look quite nice with camel, like a camel jumper maybe, I don't know, I just kind of, kind of imagine myself wearing it with loads of things, it's very thin, it literally is just like, you know, barely lined at all, um, but it's a trench coat, that's what they're meant to be like, so I knew what I was getting in for when I bought it. Um, there is buckles on the cuffs, and then it has a buckle round here as well, which I probably won't do, I'll just leave kind of hanging, um, but I really like it actually. Um, I think this was reduced to around about £60, I'm wearing a size medium, 
Um, and it's just nice to have like a piece that I know I love and I know I get loads of wear out but in a different colour uh, just to switch it up a little bit. I think this could look really good with the um, hat from Ganny which I showed you guys earlier. Like the camel hat would look quite cool. I might put that on now and show you. Hang on. There we go. So yeah, I think that works quite nicely. Like the two colours go really nicely together. Um, I just feel so much happier when I've got a beanie on my head. I don't know whether it's just like I feel really warm and cosy. I just prefer it. I wish I could wear beanies literally all year round. I think I prefer my hair as well because I hate kind of this top section of my hair. So anyway, I'm riveting on about something irrelevant. Um, but yeah, so really happy with this. We'll link it down below if I can. Fingers crossed it's not sold out, but I always say with Zara, um, there are loads of like differences between the online sale and the in-store sale. So do try and go in-store as well if it is. But yeah. Okay, so the next thing I got was a pair of trousers. Now again, you're probably not gonna be able to see these very well, but they're a pair of black trousers. I got them in a size medium, um, and they're just a really nice shape. Hopefully you can see kind of the silhouette. Um, they go out to a flare, they're obviously super long, but I would wear them with a pair of heels, or I could maybe get them taken up, but I'd probably leave them, because I quite like them long. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how well you can make them out. The only annoying thing, I got them in a medium, and they fit fine around my legs, but this bit is very big, so I might get it taken in um, a little bit because I do really, really like the fit of them and I can see me wearing these quite a lot. I love like a smart trouser for an evening, maybe like with like a nice blouse or a shirt. Um, but yeah, I think they're really, really nice. So I would really, really recommend Zara for trousers actually. I get quite a lot of my trousers from Zara. So next up, I've got another pair of trousers and these are gonna look really weird without shoes on. Um, but they are, again, some black trousers. I picked these up in a small and they fit way better. So maybe I should have got a small in the others, but you know, with the sale stuff, you kind of just have to make do with what they've got. Um, but yeah, these are so comfy because they're much stretchier than the other trousers. Um, and then they have this kind of V at the bottom. I don't really want to show you my feet too much because I know some people hate feet, um, but they have this kind of open slit at the bottom and I just think this, with a pair of heels, would look amazing. Um, I have another pair quite similar to this from Topshop, which I also love, but these are more high-waisted. Um, so if I'm wearing like a crop top or something, then these are gonna be better. Um, but yeah, I love these. I'll definitely get loads of wear out of these. With a pair of heels, I think these would look so cool. Um, they were 49.99 but I think um, they were reduced to 29.99. So yeah, love them. Okay guys, so that is the end of my haul. Sorry it wasn't very successful, but disappointed to be honest. Um, but there were some nice pieces in there. Uh, so yeah, also sorry, I feel like the lighting's gone really strange. Um, hopefully I look a little blue, but anyway. Um, but because the haul wasn't that successful, I did want to show you guys a little something that I was planning on showing you anyway, um, but I just thought I may as well put it on the end of this video. So I wanted to show you what Sam bought me for Christmas. Now, we said that we weren't doing presents. Um, I mean, I stuck to that, he didn't. <laughs> um, no, I just got him like a few little tiny bits, like nothing big at all. Um, and I thought that's all he was doing for me. So he gave me a couple of tiny bits. He gave me a diary, um, some pajamas, that sort of thing. And then he pulled this out. Obviously it was wrapped up, but um, this obviously is in a Prada box. And I was like absolutely gobsmacked. Um, because like I said, we said we weren't doing presents. Isn't that the worst when someone says we're not doing presents and then they do presents? I mean, it's kind of the best as well because I got a present, but. Um, so basically, I will pull this out. I've left it in this box to show you guys, but it is this. So this is a Prada backpack, as you can probably tell. Um, so it has the big two pockets at the front and it's got the clasp here with the little Prada logo there um, Now I know for a lot of people this is probably really really boring and not very exciting at all However, I was in desperate need of a backpack obviously where we've moved away um, I am going on the train into London quite a bit and stuff like that. So um, I am also kind of working from coffee shops and stuff now more often just because the house is Still a bit of a bomb site, so um, I found I was literally carrying my laptop and stuff around in a um, bag for life. So I was like, I can't be doing this, I need a bag. So I was saying this to Sam and I was looking at backpacks and I just didn't really like any of the ones that I came across. I do think there was a massive market um, for someone to design really nice, but not like crazy expensive backpacks. Anyway, I came across the Prada one. I actually knew about this because one of my friends has one and I love it, I really do. I think it's so chic 
um, and I think I kind of wanted a backpack that I wasn't just going to wear for work I also wanted one that I could use you know say I'm going shopping or whatever it is um, so I wanted a backpack that was quite cool as well and I think this kind of ticks that box um, I think it's kind of like would look really nice with like a mac and some jeans and some trainers just very casual um, but still cool kind of vibes um, so yeah I think it's like a nylon material which is great because I wanted something that is waterproof um, because it rains a lot in Manchester um, but yeah so this is the backpack and bless him it was so sweet because I was going on about how much I um, really want a backpack to fit my laptop in and I mentioned the Prada one and I was like Oh, when I when I say I was going on about it, I mean as in like I was gonna buy it for myself. I wasn't hinting. But anyway, I mentioned the Prada one and I was like, but I'm just worried it won't fit my laptop in. Anyway, so bless him. He went and got like a piece of cardboard, cut out a piece of cardboard that was my exact laptop size and took it into Selfridges and put it in the bag to check it would fit. And he says it did fit. So I was just like, that is actually so sweet. Um, so yeah, this is the backpack. I mean, it's not very like exciting in the sense that this is kind of what it is but i love it i'm really really happy with it i'll put it on my back so you can see i just think it's so cool really 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 love it um so yeah i just thought i would add that one on the end because i was going to talk to you guys about it anyway because if anyone's looking for a designer backpack then i love this i think it's so cool um and i can also like carry it like this like or on the crook of my arm too i know it's obviously not how backpacks meant to be worn but Nice and versatile, you know. But yeah, it also comes with a dust bag. Super excited about this because I've never owned anything from Prada, so it's quite nice to branch into a new designer. Um, so yeah, thank you very much to Sam for being so lovely and buying this for me. This is not a regular occurrence, by the way. Like, just, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is the end of my haul video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you guys wanna sort of catch up or keep up with what I'm up to in terms of like house renovations or what I'm up to in kind of my general life, then you can follow me over on Instagram. So my Instagram is at rubyholly underscore and my home account is at rubyhollyhome. Do pop down below what you would like to see from me in 2020. Um, and yeah, I hope everybody has a good new year. Obviously new year's already been, but you know, a good January, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and also I just wanna say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching my videos and for supporting me on YouTube for this past year. I honestly had no idea when I started my account just over a year ago that I would be, you know, almost on 50,000 subscribers. So that's pretty amazing. So I'm really, really happy that you guys have decided to join me for the journey um, and hopefully you're enjoying it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.